Hey everyone, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more AFL 23. Here today on the channel, we have Season 2, Episode 6 of my Brisbane Lions Management Career Series. Here today, we're going to be kicking things off with a match against West Coast. And what a crazy and wild Season 2 it has been. We currently sit 16th, nearly towards the bottom of the ladder after winning the Premiership last year. After 12 games played, we have 4 wins and 8 losses. Basically due to the new update. I think it's kind of broken the game over the last couple of days. Um, the first couple of episodes of this series felt fine, but I, I, something's changed and it's hard to pick and identify what that is. But hopefully we can still mathematically make the top eight. There's still plenty of football to be played, but yeah, it's going to be tough. I feel like the majority of those matches, um, probably, probably six of those losses were quite close within a kick or so, but I feel like maybe th two to three of them we, we kind of got pumped but um here we go match against the west coast eagles it's going to be a good one at the gabba as well and they are just rolling into our forward 50 there their forward 50 our d50 and they've got a goal goal down already and midfield is just getting overrun and why is there nobody defending has it gotten worse <sighs> Oh, come off it. There's a three-on-one there. And how the hell did we not win that? I don't even know what to say anymore. Uh, it gets touched on the line as well. Yeah. I don't know, guys. This season might be a write-off until they fix it. I'm not going to stop playing and waiting because I want to play this game. I can't afford to not... Um, record for a day just because a, a patch is broken on the day maybe season two is a write-off maybe um well i guess it's not all doom and gloom i guess because if we do finish towards the bottom of the, the ladder uh we might get a, a really good draft pick <laughs> i do feel like we've massively missed will ashcroft though uh, if you guys can't remember he picked up a tour achilles which is really quite bad um he's now out for the season but I feel like we need to restructure our defense, um, maybe just getting some higher rated players, but I don't want it to be too unrealistic and not sensible, like, if we go and sign the best defenders in the league, that's a ridiculous goal there though, how did they kick that, um, to fix our defensive woes, because at the moment our overall defensive rating is between about 83 to 85, with a couple of exceptions, like, um, Andrews, but, yeah. The West Coast Eagles look good in this one, but we just can't we just can't um stop teams on the attack. Like 9 times out of 10 the AI is going to score and there's nothing really you can do about it. Even if you perfectly time the mark, which I don't tend to do anymore because you're actually better off to spoil the success rate on that. Then when you spoil, there's usually another 50 more than a 50% chance that it's going to not fall to a player so you can't get the clearance. And now we're currently four goals down to the Weagles. Brad Close now plays them, which is kind of weird. All right. Oh, wow, we are just getting pumped. Unbelievable scenes against arguably... Yeah, I, I would say in real life the West Coast Eagles are definitely the worst team in the comp. Even, even without Nick Natanui, they're still winning against us. Just getting overrun now. Third quarter, down by five. Eight points. We've squandered two goals. Dunkley on the mark. Chipping it around for fun. Leicester completely misses the spoil. Just chipping it around. With ease, finds Allen. And the West Coast Eagles go back with a set shot. Allen, cool, calm, and collected on an angle. Straight through the big sticks. Number six. Five goals down, third quarter. Brisbane needs something to come back from. Come on. What is that, man? Oh. That handball nearly didn't go through. There were so many players there. Like, we nearly didn't get, we score that. Back in the ruck. Four goals down. Fourth quarter. Unfortunately, I just think we're going to run out of time. 
Good win. West Coast turn. Gardner. Two on one. Good spoil. Goes to an Eagles player. At the top of the goal square. Spoil. We win it. Still goes to an Eagles player. And the tackle didn't get calculated. Bang. Straight through the big sticks for six points. Bugging out. Brilliant. Five goals down. Eagles still chipping it around. That's not unfair, that one, though. But this one might be. Looking to sail it through for the West Coast Eagles for number eight. The crowd roars as the Gabba is now emptying. Ah. <sighs> Trust me, Brisbane aren't tanking. We're not trying to finish at the bottom just so we get the next best draft pick. <laughs> Neil. Gets a pretty good goal back there, though. But with time running out, it's mathematically impossible to come back even with that beautiful goal by Neil. Interesting ball. We win the spoil. Good tackle. Falls to three unmarked West Coast players. They turn and pivot. And get number nine for this match. 56-20. The West Coast Eagles are flying away with it. No mistake about it. A great goal through the sticks for them. Stasevich comes out. Sicily goes up. Loses the mark. And the West Coast Eagles have an opportunity for number 10. Our defense is completely beaten once again. And the West Coast forward line is ablaze with Oscar Allen, the goal-kicking machine. Misses slightly. But as the time runs out, the Lions are going to get pumped this time around by 37 points. Disappointing, to uh, say the least. Probably our biggest defeat of the season. Seaton with three as we go and face the Hawks, who are now lower than us. Um, let's get stuck into them. I think it mathematically hasn't happened, but it's getting to the point now that we're three wins away from making the top eight, and then it's four if the teams continue to gain points on us. But uh, the gap is closing. At the Gabba against the Hawks, they've got a nice young outfit. And Sicily is facing his former side. Good spoil. Ridiculous handball on the inside. And our defense has collapsed, collapsed once again. Nothing really can do about that. The Hawks start off the scoring here in the first term. Thanks to Carl Eamon by the look of it. You forget he left Port Adelaide. The Hawks looking to capitalize on their one goal lead. And Brisbane's defense looks shocking again. Um, I think Adams is facing his former side as well. And we traded someone else. Was it Payne, I think it was? Uh, no, it wasn't Payne. It was Pryor, I think. Uh, he wanted to leave, ultimately. And I guess Jack Gunston as well. But the Hawks start off the scoring with two quick goals. And they might even get a third here, as Ainsworth isn't going to contest that mark. Good handball. Big ball in. Leicester completely misses it. And... Okay, I was going to say, he's going to run over the, the mark and play on. And the Hawks for number three. Gets the goal. Oh. I don't know, guys. I don't know what to say. Yeah. Kind of running out of words to describe this season. Frustrated, disappointing, uh, disappointed. The team needs to be doing better. Come on, need a bit of resurgence here. We need to capitalize on this. Simkin just gets dumped. And we've yet to hit the scoreboard now in the second term. We need a goal from this. Nice. Bouncing ball, good tackle. Good interception. McCluggage. Decent handball. Danaher turns with a little bit of space and somehow gets a miracle goal there.
Come on. Coleman. Oh. Come off it. How can it how can you win the spoil and then like disengage and then they win it back? <laughs> this uh game is ridiculous at times. As we go into the third quarter, Brisbane Trail. Need to hit the scoreboard quickly. McCluggage bombs it in. Only as far as Bailey. Gets spoiled though. A lot of bodies here. Dunkley picks it up. He gets chopped down. Gunston wins it back. It's a two-goal game here at the Gabba. Can the Lions come back? If history was to say anything, probably not. Yeah, maybe this is just a blip. Like when the Bulldogs won it, they sort of fell off a bit. Same with Melbourne, they fell off a bit. The Tigers didn't win three in a row, but they came back the following year and won it. Yeah. It's still mathematically possible. Um, I won't simulate matches until it is ma if mathematically... It's like impossible to make the top eight. Um, so we're going to keep playing, but it's going to be tough. Hawks look good here in this last term. Still trailing. Two minutes. Who knows who's going to win this one. Just need to make sure we capitalize when we get into our forward 50 and essentially outscore them. Oh my god. Mitchell Lewis with a great goal there. Big kick from him. And the Hawks... Looking for a third now. Come on, Sicily. Oh, come on, man. Just looks off the boil. Lester not marking his man in the pocket. And to make it number six for the Hawks. Impey, I think it is. Or it could be Brockman, actually. He now goes. From the pocket. I think it's Brockman, actually. Good kick of the footy as well. At the Gabba. We've let it slip here. What a disastrous season this has been. <laughs> I wouldn't have expected us to win the flag and finish so far down the bottom of the table. We've got quality, but our defense has really let us down as Charlie Cameron brings it back. He's a little bit too late, though. Neil wins it. Hits it quick, though. Finds Danaher. Trying to release the footy, just goes to ground. Come on. Oh, Neil hits it from the 35 and gets it. Oh, it's a two-point game here. 30 seconds remaining. And the Hawks go forward. They're just chipping it around, and they're going to get a goal. No, they're not. Oh, maybe they are, because Rich just got dropped. Oh, not 15 play on. That's ridiculous. 19 seconds remaining. Come on, give it and go. <laughs> They're just running through me. Tackled and still kicks the goal. <sighs> wow. Just wow. Eight points. Against the Hawks. They've managed to get the win. At least we're seeing different club songs. Eight points. Man. Yeah, Brockman got three. Reeves, Green, one, Lewis. As we face the Pies. So, yeah, I think that's it. Um, I don't think we can come back. We'll play this one against Collingwood uh, because we beat them earlier in the season by a point. But yeah, I don't know, maybe it's just, maybe we're just not getting over the line. That's the thing as well. Like, really, that Hawthorne game was quite close. Like, to be honest, um, either side could have deserved to win that one. But here we go. Match at the Gabba again. Um, I think we've nearly got a better result on the road. But yeah, I think it's an understatement that we need a result here. 
as King gets it. We are scoring double what the opposition and other teams are. We're probably the highest scoring team in the comp, but we just concede too much, and that's it. McInerney wins it. Dunkley. It's like even like trying to get it clear out of our midfield. Like we just waste so much time trying to get it out. Come on, win that someone. Crunching pack. We do manage to pick up that bouncing ball. And get decent goals here and there. But um looks like this premiership team and dynasty is probably gonna end because we're gonna have to the thing is Rich is gonna be gone next year. He's not been up to snuff. Andrews has been good, but I think our defense has really let us down this year. Gardner at 83, 84 rated isn't good enough. Payne at 79 isn't good enough. Sicily has been good, but we probably needed a bit more. Coleman is good at 80, 80 isn't he 84 rated? Leicester's 85. Starsevich 83, 84. Ainsworth 83, 84. So maybe they just need, maybe they just didn't have much um, growth last season because we weren't defending that much we were scoring so many maybe it's just a blip maybe we just need to call season to a write off and uh, when we get a better pick next season we might need to change things we look good here against Collingwood but we just need to keep up this momentum and not let the tide change too much Go on. If we can make this four, we might be able to win this one. We just need we just need as many goals and as quick as possible. It's actually about like getting the clearance and then converting. Because if we don't hit nine out of ten of our inside fifties, if we don't convert them, the AI is just gonna score more than us. It's as simple as that. The only way we can win is just outscoring the opposition, not by defending well. The game is just way too open. Barry's going to make it five now. And to, to be honest, this is probably our best quarter now. Now that the rage is flowing through me a bit. We just can't bottle it from here. I, yeah, it's still mathematically possible, but... God, we've got to go on a streak. Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, yeah, dropped instantly. Not 15, play on. Whatever. They're probably calling that pretty harshly as well, to be honest. There we go, McCluggage hits it. I think this would be fixed if like the, the AI would man mark just a bit better. Oh, what is that handballing, man? That stuff drives me nuts. When you go forward with a handball, it goes back. And they're going to get one back there to bring it back within a four-goal game. But, um, yeah, Dacos with a pretty good goal. We beat Collingwood earlier in the season, to be fair. But also maybe as well, because we finished first, we actually got harder teams. I don't think we faced North Melbourne once this season. Um, yeah, like, because we won a premiership, the fixtures were significantly harder as well. All right, second quarter now. Lions up by four. Uh, need to continue and capitalize on this lead. Yeah, let me know in the comments your thoughts and opinions. I'm curious. What do you think exactly is going wrong? Good bit of a play there. Nicely done. Nice. We're five up, but... I can't let my foot off the gas. Man, where would we be without Jack Gunston and Danaher? Like, what are we going to do for season three? <laughs> We're probably going to have to maybe move them on. Simpkin. Mm, okay, so at the other end, the Pies rebound there. The Lions only up by four goals. McCreary with the goal. We go again. McInerney wins it. Gets it out somehow. Neil handballs. Gunston turns and hits it well. That's number seven for the Lions. And this is probably our best match we've played. We've just been clinical going forward. Quite frankly, just been lucky. Oh, come on. Tackled in the goal square. Just grinding forward. McInerney 
Goes up. Nice. Goal. Oh, wow. We're six goals up in the second quarter. This could be our biggest win of the career series. We're playing so well. McInerney. Uh, lose, is it? Okay. Make a show about it, Sicily. Terrible. The Pies play on quickly, though, which is not good. And they get another one back. It's a four-goal game. Third quarter now. Dunkley. Can't get it out. What are the, Why can't we tackle you? Okay, a bug. Just gifted them a goal, maybe? If they capitalize from this, it is. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. You just can't defend on this game. There's just so many holes. Four goals. The difference. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Cameron. Looking to bring it in. The Lions need to convert from this. It's a bouncing ball. Nice handball over the top. Rayner with the dribbler for number nine. And the Lions are only a couple goals in front. 9-1, 55, 4 zip. King goes up, it gets spoiled. Come on, put some tackles in. Nice. Neil, Danaher, Zach, Bailey. We just need to play the Magpies every season because we seem to only can beat them. <laughs> I don't know why either. I actually think it's probably their ruck because they've probably got the weakest ruck in the comp probably in this game. So the big guy is just winning them. This would be a massive statement, though, against the Pies if we can win this one. I still have my doubts, even though we're six goals up. Go on. Oh. All right, for number five, McStay. Colin, we go back. That's a good kick of the footy, actually. Straight through the big sticks. That's number five. And we lead by 31 points. Hopefully that's enough. Ball up. McInerney goes up. He's actually exhausted now. Couple decent handballs. Okay. I think, I think we're mathematically okay. Oh my days. Season two of this Brisbane career is um, making me pull my hair out. Andrews, yeah, because it's like you just can't even win that. But regardless of this kick, Brisbane are going to beat Collingwood here today. But uh, it's a pretty decent comeback from the Pies. But is it at this stage of the season? Quite frankly, a little bit too late. Will we make the top eight? Only time will tell. As the siren goes, and Brisbane pick up a decent win at the Gab over the Pies. Uh, we beat them by a point earlier in the season, but we've quite frankly pumped them there. Man, I, I, I just don't know. This hardest difficulty is um, so hard to wrap my head around. But a massive win, 31 points. Maybe some nerds about you can just have a look and, and go through all those stats to actually see why we won that. I think it was Dunkley with the clearances. Like, he played so, so well in this one. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed Season 2, Episode 6. Stay tuned for Episode 7, coming out the exact same time tomorrow. If you haven't already, left the video a like and subscribe if you're new. We'd really appreciate it. Let me know your feedback and suggestions for this career series. And uh, hopefully we can make finals, make the top eight. But pff, I don't know how this career series is uh, quite frankly going to end. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, if you want to see more from me, check out the videos on screen. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.